With every new season's beginning comes with it the opportunity for certain NHL players to be traded. Whether it be cap issues, a pending free agency status, or just not the right fit for the team anymore, these players have been in trade rumors recently within the hockey world. In this video, we're going to be going over a select number of players that have the potential to be traded prior to the free agency period of 2023. And with that, here are four NHL players that could be on new teams sooner rather than later. One of the players who came to be a pleasant surprise for many to observe last season was Stars forward Jason Robertson. While in the final year of his entry-level contract, Robertson, along with veteran Joe Pavelski and Henry Bay Hintz, became a force to be reckoned with that made up the Stars' first line. Unfortunately though, due to cap constraints, GM Jim Neal has been unable to produce a contract amount that both parties can agree on, meaning that Robertson, who is currently a restricted free agent, hasn't been able to participate in the training camp festivities thus far with his teammates. This holdout, as you would expect, has prompted much speculation as to what could happen to Robertson moving forward. Other than the obvious cap crunch, current Stars owner Tom Gaglardi revealed his personal opinion on paying star players in today's game while on the Cam and Strick podcast. Gaglardi went on to state that he believed skilled players are being overpaid now more than ever. While this is just an opinion, is it possible that it could could have something to do with the Robertson predicament. Regardless, according to former NHLers Craig Reve and Andrew Peters, the team they formerly played for, the Buffalo Sabres, has some interest in obtaining Robertson services. While on their After the Whistle podcast, they revealed that GM Kevin Adams and company had already been inquiring about what it would take to secure the star talents. But aside from just Buffalo, there have been a couple of other teams that would make sense for Robertson to go to. Detroit could be an option, as they do technically have $8 million of available cap space. Robertson would slot in nicely alongside Wings captain Dylan Larkin. However, such a move would likely seal Tyler Bertuzzi's fate. And lastly, the Arizona Coyotes have also been entertained, simply because they too have the cap space available to make such a move happen. Speaking of Arizona, Jacob Chikrin has pretty much become the new Jack Eichel, meaning that, just like Eichel before the Vegas trade, Chikrin is a star player that's constantly been in trade rumors, now for multiple seasons. The defenseman has been one of the few remaining pieces on Arizona's roster that could potentially garner a large return. And to even intensify the trade talks further, we recently were given confirmation from Chikrin himself, indicating that he too was open to entertaining the idea of moving on from Arizona, knowing that this is indeed the last season on his contract in which he won't have a trade clause for for GM Bill Armstrong, the desperation to move him is now at an all-time high. Chikrin, who is currently on the men due to a wrist injury, is only set to earn $4.6 million for this upcoming campaign. While last season wasn't his career best as far as points are concerned, considering that he's been playing on a rather depleted team does still allow for him to be attractive to suitors considering. After recording 21 points after 47 games played last season, Chikrin had a shooting percentage that was less than half from the year before, at 5%. Even still, knowing that he's only 24 years of age and has potential, there's been a slew of teams with reported interest. The Ottawa Senators, Toronto Maple Leafs, Edmonton Oilers, Los Angeles Kings, St. Louis Blues, and Columbus Blue Jackets have all inquired about the defenseman's services at one point in time. And yet another defenseman that's been on the trade block for quite some time is veteran Matt Dumba. Drafted 7th overall by Minnesota in 2012, Dumba is one of the few players remaining on the Wild roster that's consistently played for the team for a decade or more. Therefore, he's witnessed the shifts that the team has endured over the years, mostly recently the departures of Ryan Suter and Zach Parise. After the duo's contracts were bought out, this has left the Wild with a lot of dead cap on the books, meaning that 
This has made Dumba increasingly expendable considering the direction that the team has been heading in and also that he's a pending free agent. Knowing that Dumba will be expecting a raise upon his contract expiration with 14.7 million of dead cap to manage for the 23-24 season, it's possible that GM Billy Guerin won't be able to keep him. Knowing that, the Wild have been pretty productive and successful with drafting and developing their prospects. This could be another piece of the puzzle that comes together, securing Dumba's exit. If the Wild find themselves having a mediocre campaign this upcoming season, it could pressure Garen to shop his defensemen. With 27 points recorded after 57 games played last season, Dumba would be the perfect addition for teams looking for a top pairing blue liner who can eat minutes and contribute offensively. Finally, the most interesting case on this list is that of Oilers captain Connor McDavid. Now, obviously, yes, the idea here is kind of far-fetched, but I decided to bring it up for discussion since it's been a hot topic. Other hockey YouTubers and Ryan Fancy at Leafs Nation have been entertaining the idea. Firstly, there were some parody tweets of sorts that falsely had Elliot Friedman claiming that he believed Arizona would be factoring Austin Matthews into their long-term cap plans. Then the parody account went on to also say that he expects the Toronto Maple Leafs to factor Connor McDavid into theirs. As most of us know, the superstar grew up in Newmarket, Ontario, cheering for Toronto from a young age. Now, this is being uttered because Matthews is currently a pending free agent, and in case you aren't aware, the Coyotes were his childhood team. Obviously, for being realistic, Matthews will be resigning with the Leafs here shortly, and is probably going to be receiving an AAV of between 13.5 and 14 million. Even though the cap is supposed to be going up, it's pretty outlandish to believe that McDavid will be signing with the Leafs in 2026 when he's a UFA. Even still, it's definitely possible that Toronto and Arizona will both be hoping that the superstars will want to return home. Both Mitch Marner and John Tavares will also be free agents by 2026. So in theory, it could happen, but will it? For McDavid, things could change, say, four years down the road, but my opinion is that I don't see him going anywhere outside of Edmonton in the future.